with a leash. Yeah, because I want to have have her wear it and then take the take the uh, the leash and just kind of pull it. I'm hard. And then you guys are just going nah. to top golf after. <laughs> Quasimodo ass hoe, bitch! Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to the you happy, too, sir. Do you want to be my Valentine? Yes. Oh. Oh, Jack told us that the fucking Gen Zers now they have to ask each other even if they're dating. What do you mean? They have to ask each other to be their Valentine. Like if we were dating for three years, we could be. I'm wearing Michael Blossom socks today. I'm wearing oh. I'm wearing Goofy socks. Hey. In and out. Somebody brought me this at the Vegas show. Thank you. Oh, I'm wearing dude. In and Out socks. Dude, those are sick. What are your socks? Pop tarts. Pop tarts. What's your pop tart? Uh, the cinnamon one. Good answer. Yeah. What? Here's How do you feel about people who get the one without the frosting? Uh, kill them. <laughs> no, no, for real. I think there's certain Outside, things. Outside, firing line, yeah, yeah. call the day. Yeah, I think there's some things that people do that they should be shot. Like, not, no, 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 in an aggressive way. I'm out. I was going to pull, pull it back, but if you choose. I mean, it's like cracking a fresh bag of Skittles and goes, where's those yellow ones at? Yeah, shot. Glock guns. <laughs> gun, gun. <laughs> Like, they, they, they should just get this. And then <laughs> they come in, be. and they're, they're wearing a full, like, <laughs> Spanish uniform. What, another one, a trench coat. I'm sorry, but what do you need that for? Can't. The rain? Can't. The rain? It doesn't help. Golden umbrella. Yeah, you're we either, know it's under there. You're cock. Yeah, you're either selling watches in Central Park, <laughs> or you're selling cock to kids. Okay, what, do you think <laughs> that, <laughs> you ever think there's been a flasher has been misunderstood? What do you mean? Like Please he, elaborate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he meant, he had watches on his the inside, oh, yeah, yeah. but he forgot to wear boxers that day. Oh, shit. And pants, and he's like, yeah. who wants a Rolex? <laughs> and it's cock <laughs> out. And he, he goes, why is everyone running? <laughs> well, what, you guys don't have the time? And then he just gets gatted. Oh, man, yeah. But man. what's another thing that people should be shot for if they if they choose? If you go to a place and order, uh, what's that? If you go to In-N-Out and get hot chocolate in the summer, yep. or in general. If you get anything hot during the summer, gatted. Oh, I'll have a hot <laughs> coffee shot. But why is that in the winter? Ice coffee, I'm still there. Me too. Still there. You know what pisses me off though? When I'm in the cold holding the coffee. Yeah. When it's freezing. My little God nimble hands are getting cold. Freezing. I've thrown coffee in the <laughs> trash. I actually did it this weekend. What do you mean? I was it was too cold. First of all, Phoenix. It was too cold. What's happening? It was, it was freezing. Cold. Dude, Vegas was like 38 degrees. No. I was playing golf one. I was miserable. Golf? Yeah. You, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know you played. What? You, no, no, not <laughs> not the game as a whole. Yeah, dude, I, I, I had a whole. Dude, I oh, had a game as a whole. I, I played in a fucking Sports Illustrated tournament. Huh? Golf. Sports Illustrated. Tits. Where are they? Wait, Sports Illustrated. All people care about is the swimsuit edition, right? Uh, is anybody no, getting think, this? Be like, man, where's Terrell Owens? Do people get <laughs> subscriptions? <laughs> no. To to our podcast for sure. But Bro, what I'm saying, mail is, is sad. Stop sending me stuff. Yeah, I'm I, in trouble with the post office. You say you are? Yeah, they're threatening to stop sending me mail. The, Good. You're 98 years old. <laughs> you're threatening your own life right now. <laughs> you know what's funny is I have, so my new place, I don't need a key. Like it's all like, I have an app on my phone, right? So I don't have keys. The only thing I have in my pocket is the fob for my car. So I don't carry keys, but I need a key to unlock my mailbox in my apartment. But I get such low mail that I go a month without opening it. Yeah. And guess what? There's nothing ever in there. Well, I do, and it's all bullshit. Yeah. It's like, hey, we are the contractors. We're fixing up roofs. Shut the fuck up. Hey, here's a catalog. A catalog? God. What year is it? Yes, sir. Trev, was uh, Brittany Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes at the golf thing because it was Sports Illustrated? His they were not. Was, well, you know who was there? It was the guy. There was uh <sighs> His wife was just on the cover. Who? Brittany Mahomes. Was she? Can I see yeah. the photo? Yeah. Um, I, Respectfully. Dude, they fucking matched me with all the other internet kids on the influencers. So we we were like, because you had to pay to play. We didn't. They were just like, hey, go go fuck around and do this. Um, but there was there was some football players. The guy from the Raiders, Jack dude, Ginger man, Max Eddie, nobody, somebody uh, answer. I I, I don't know football players. Well, yeah, wow. anyways, okay. yeah, I, I, dude, I had a whole week in Vegas. You were in Phoenix. I was in Phoenix. Waste management, golfing. Were, were any people at your shows coming from waste management? Because all the videos I saw, people were wasted at waste management. People were hammered. Yeah, I would assume so, but everyone was really, really, really nice at the shows. Um, so probably, but no one yeah. was outlandish at the shows talking about golf and shit during my during my set. Mm -hmm. The shows are fucking crazy. Everyone I love. Great. Phoenix so much. Arizona the crowds awesome. don't give a shit. They all have guns and it's great. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Hello. It's great. No applause break. Just people shooting guns in the air. Oh, that is an applause break. You're right. That would be cool. After would be a joke landed. Awesome. 
<laughs> we just love it. Yo, are there handguns that are machine guns? Or like there's automatic, be. automatic in, in like guns? Cod, like an there's Uzi, like right? Uzis are yeah. Little Uzi Vert. That's why his name is that. Because really? he was he was small and he could rap fast. That once makes so much sense. Yeah, but once you find out somebody's like your rap name, doesn't it make you like, ah? Yeah, I hate it. It's you know what song. I hate is when I have a meaning to a song, like what that song means to me, and then they tell me what their their meaning is. Bitch, no one asked you. Did you ever? Uh, <laughs> now I have to fucking feel the way you felt. You ever, Does that make sense? Am I crazy? No, yeah, I don't yeah. like it. This don't isn't a great me. take, but you ever find an artist you really like, and then you find out he's just insanely ugly? Keep going. But like, you're like, oh, this song is so good, and then you like tap on their like profile, see other songs, and you're like, oh. God, I thought you were a hot guy. You know what's crazy to me is when I see that and I go, bruh, do you know how talented <laughs> you got to be? You got a face of a shopkeep worker and you fucking made it? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. What's my man? Um, Post Malone. No. I think Post Malone's hot. What's, uh, oh, the internet's going to kill me. The red hair guy. Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran. Do you not know anybody? You Dog, didn't know I Taylor got, Swift? You didn't know Ed Sheeran? I'm I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not trying to like disintegrate their fucking whatever. I'm right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I just can't, yeah, yeah, I can't conjure the name of them. Whatever. Him, so good. Very talented. So prime example. Very talented. talented. Very talented. And a lot of people do find it very hot. Well, if he worked at Best Buy. <laughs> It would be different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I he's, mean, dude, He's mid-tier at Geek Squad for sure. Yeah, but <laughs> talent carries you so far. Yeah, but a good voice? Like, Holy dude, fuck. Dude, I bet I if he was on dating sing. apps, he wouldn't have any photos. It would just be like the voice memos. Cause I don't know. It. No, it's so good. It's so Seems good. so cool. It's so cool. Dude, that's all my TikTok is now. It's all golf and people like singing a cappella. Like in, you in, are old. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. No, I'll tell you why. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Because anytime you look at one girl for three seconds on the fucking app, it's just that. What do you mean? It's just you look at one girl that's like like jiggling tits. They have for, that? Sir. Where? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. And then all then your whole goddamn thing is that. Well, it's how, 10 a.m. Oh, no, Leave I agree. Alone. I agree. Yeah. So your explore page is like that too? Nope. <laughs> My explore page is a nightmare. Yeah. That's the only time I, I do a little browsing. Oh. Hey. You know what I mean? No. What do you mean? Every time I see that, I go, go to work. Yeah. Like when they're like, fucking, and they're that doing a lip syncing to something. That is You're right. Work. You're right. And they're making it's all so much more money towards, than anyone they can talk about. It's all marketing towards a certain link. What's the link? Uh, it rhymes with OnlyFans. Bony cans? <laughs> <laughs> Trademark it next to hose water. <laughs> What'd you guys think of the halftime performance? I thought Usher killed it. So I good. really did. Yeah. Can I say this? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Didn't see it. What? Whoa. What? I didn't see it. Where were you? I don't, football, I don't like it. Did you not watch the Super Bowl at all? I watched the last quarter. <clears throat> what were you doing instead? I was, you know, <laughs> you know what I was literally doing? I, I was working out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was, I was just, I was working out. I got back from the road. I was tired as fuck. Yeah. And then. Tonal or gym? Tonal. But like when it's I. It's like a four hour game, man. Well, I was, <laughs> no, I was traveling. I was traveling for the beginning of it. Oh. And then once I started working out, I was like, well, do I listen to a podcast or do I watch like the most famous thing in the whole entire world right now? And I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. Yeah. So I got, I started watching the fourth quarter. Such a good game. It was great. I know the first, I missed all the boring shit. The fourth quarter was crazy. Mm -hmm. And then the overtime was out actually. Yeah, Usher did a great job. He did not miss a fucking beat. Dude, I, well, he's been practicing in goddamn Vegas for 14 years. Yeah. Uh, can I see some of these? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Dude, he's rollerblading at one point. He the rollerblading, rollerblading was sick. Yeah. Rollerblading. He had Alicia Keys with him. He had like them. three. Oh, oh, yeah. Alicia yeah. Keys was all upon him. And everyone's oh, yeah, like, that was a big you're thing, man. Right? Yeah. Because yeah, Swiss Keys is like, well, that's my wife. Also, like, what? She's going to come home fucking fired up and ready. Like, you don't think you could rock a world like that? And Swiss Beats is like, hey. Yeah, but she, she's going to smell like Usher. Not a bad what smell. What do you think Usher smells like? Candles. Yep, <laughs> like really high level candles. Mm -hmm. I think you ever like have someone walk past you that's like hyper rich, and you're like, "Bro, what is that scent?" Like I can't even fathom to know where to get that scent from. It smells like vanilla, and like, do you know what I mean? Like it's almost like you can like taste Strippers. their smell. Yeah, vanilla is a great scent. Fuck. Yeah, he 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 really did kill it. There was not a beat missed yeah, for, for as many things that have could have gone wrong. There, he really did a great job. Yeah, and we'll just kind of jump around because this is yeah, like yeah, the yeah, full I, thing. I, but, I just haven't seen. Um, Somebody told me you have to pay for your own 
Super Bowl? So my understanding is that Apple pays the NFL $500 million for the rights for the for the halftime show, and Usher doesn't get any of it. What? Okay, I'll pause it real quick. Okay, first of all... Apple gave them $500 million? Because it's it's a p- partnership with the Super Bowl and Apple Music. What the f- But it's Usher's music. Apple Music didn't do shit. Yeah. I hate apps like that. They're just like, hey, we're just going to hold your music and then make money from you. Yeah. Why? I don't, I'm so I'm just confused about what they gave CBS... The NFL, million dollars? No, the NFL. CBS is probably also paying. There's the too much money the NFL, involved. Everyone yeah, you're pays totally the NFL for everything. Oh yeah, you're crazy. I, I am insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. All, okay. all the commercials this year were mid as hell. And then we'll get back to them Valentine's Day because we're oh, getting yeah, horny yeah, yeah, up yeah. in this bitch. So this I, is I, I Amazon Prime to butt plug three of them. What, what are we even doing? <laughs> we're watching Usher. Why we're do you think we're watching? That's foreplay. Fucking rollerblading, and you ordered three butt plugs. Three heart shaped, bedazzled, and lube. And vibrating underwear. I'm gonna have a night. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> By yourself? Yeah. So this is his first set, right? Just like the football stadium, whatever. Casino workers. Cool. And then out comes Alicia Keys, looking beautiful. Dude, well, he's dancing. He's got the gloves on. Oh, can I hear it for it? A red piano. All right, enough copyright. <laughs> Feeling up Alicia Keys right there. He's, uh, oh, 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 he's gonna touch her? I mean, he did. Look at that. No. Oh. oh what are you gonna say? Stop. What pause are you going to say? What are you going to say? No, no, she no, is no, Alicia no. Keys. No, no, no. Pause it. Please, she got please, the keys to the house. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can, no, no, no. That, 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 no, no, no. Oh, what are you supposed to fucking air do it? He, he did it. He did air do it. Nah, he was on the ass. Janet Jackson it? had a titty out. Yeah. Yeah. But everyone was like, whoa, wardrobe malfunction. All right. That's so cool. Apparently right. there was like 125 million people watching Super Bowl. That's too many That's people. Absolutely insane. So now Roller here we've got rollerblading. What if he just fell? But, like, think <laughs> about the amount of errors that could have happened. This camera guy, not one slip up. I know. I was thinking about the camera guy a lot for this. They fucking, camera team crushed it here. But this is all, wow. like, not one take, but it felt like it. Like, it was all so good. Yeah. He's dancing with rollerblades on. Yes. Yeah, Or bro. with, I, what are they called? Roller skates? Yeah, Sonic, step your shit up. Will I am? Put your dun- Will Everybody I Everybody thought am? that was Kanye. <laughs> It did. It looks like Kanye. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, and Kanye Sonic, would wear a mask. put your employees back on roller blades. Wait, Usher if Usher can do it at the it. halftime show, your 16-year-old fentanyl dealer can do it too. <laughs> Number one on trending. Wow, good for him. Usher. Apple Music, pay him. So what is it? It's, it's just a giant flex? I think so. And again, number one on trending. Like probably Usher's monthly fucking listeners on Spotify are about to shoot up, you know? That's true. About to. Dude, I mean, 125 million people watch him roller skate. That was, that was Usher on ice. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> God damn. Blow. Comedy. I'm doing stand-up comedy. I'll tell you where. Um, February, uh, Ontario sold out. Uh, Minneapolis sold out. I love you guys. Um, February 29th, Milwaukee. There's a few tickets left. Um, March 1st to the 2nd, Chicago. I think there's a few tickets left on that. March 8th, New York City. Tickets are starting to pick up. I love you guys. Um, March 9th, uh, we sold the first Atlanta show out, so the second hey. one is available. Um, March 10th in Charleston, there's a few tickets left. Um, March 15th to 16th, I think two out of the four shows in Cleveland are sold up, so go get your tickets before you cannot. And uh, guys, many, many more dates on my calendar uh, on blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. Mr. Wallace. Trevor Wallace Comedy. I am doing comedy in San Francisco, May 17th through May 19th. Tickets are moving. Salt Lake City, Utah, May 30th through June 1st. Miami, Florida, Mr. 305, June 21st through June 23rd. Sacramento, the 916, baby, June 28th through June 30th. Portland, Oregon, July 25th through the 27th, Lexington, Kentucky, August 15th through the 17th, Nashville, Tennessee, August 29th through August 31st, Tempe, Arizona, Michael was just there, scorching it up, I'm trying to scorch it up too, September 13th (laughs) through the 15th, and then Tampa, Florida, September 20th through September 22nd, TripleWallsComedy.com, we'll see you there, the new hour is looking sharp. God damn. Trev, smell me. Smell good, yeah? You smell good. And that's, you smell good all over. Buddy, because that's why I got the Mando whole body deodorant, dude. It's all-terrain vehicle of deodorant, okay? Dude, you could go commando and wear Mando, and the only thing you're wearing is clothes. That clothes, scent. Buddy, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. 
all these freaking deodorants just go underneath. Okay, but what about my other things, my other parts that smell like crapola? That's why I love Mando, dude. Are you it goes talking everywhere. About like, okay, you put on your pits, you put on your package, package your feet, feet skin, skin folds, folds back, black, knees, ugh. everywhere, dude. Mando is powerful, okay? It is clinically proven to control odor everywhere, but gentle enough for your sensitive bits. Your beep it. And let me tell you, secret dude, I put it on my sensitive bits. Mm -hmm. Lady has never been happier because sometimes my sensitive bits smell a little. Bleh. You know, we're coming from shows. We're hot. We're sweaty. We're putting in that dude, work. Dude. Yeah. And I, sometimes you want to spritz it up and you don't know where. Can I put Old Spice on my kneecaps? No. Can't do it. Old Spice also burns your body. So don't use that. You know, you should use Mando. Oh, and everyone's like, come on, Michael. Come on. Tell me where to get it. I will tell you. Okay. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code and link. Use code SOCKS at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Promo code SOCKS. Shop Mando. That's $5 off. Shopmando.com. Promo code SOCKS. God damn. They say that he that when they do the math, he earned fifty two point five million dollars in exposure. <laughs> How Fuck do they no. do That's that? That's bullshit. That's like every comedy club when you first start out in LA. You're like, oh, you do it for free. You get paid in exposure. Yeah. What? Yeah. There's, There's th three people here and they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what exposure? Am I exposure doing? is hilarious because you're just like, hey, people will look at you. Uh, we're not gonna pay you, but they might. It's so Somebody weird. The crowd might. It's so weird that some MIT person like invented the way to do the calculations on exposure. What, dude? Is anybody gonna fact check that? Hey, man, about fifty-two million. Okay, that's how I feel about all science. If I was him, I would just have a <laughs> yes. I would have a QR code on my chest and be like, okay, I'm not getting paid by Apple yeah. Music, but okay. Venmo me. Literally, Venmo. Give me one Venmo. Venmo. Oh, you know what I've been doing with that? Uh, people like who put their Venmo. Cash app, whatever in their bio. I people do that. Yeah, yeah, I request them money, and hopefully they f fuck up. They fuck up and send me money. You do that as personal? It? it hasn't worked yet. Oh, okay. It, yeah, but it's. Uh, I think it's going to be a good side hustle for me. I take all the only fan all the only fan girls, uh huh, and just send them requests, and maybe hey. one time they'll slip up. Okay, <laughs> that is um like sad. ice it's fishing. It's what it is. <laughs> It's, it's like ice sad. fishing in the desert. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you are throwing bait in there. I mean, it's a totally different like tab, I believe. Uh -oh. Requests. <laughs> <laughs> payments. <laughs> it also just comes up and it says pay. Yeah, what, 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 is, what, do you, what do you like? Like, Hey, for that taxi ride last night, eight grand. No, I go like, wow, you're so beautiful. And then pressed request. Yeah, but my man, they have to press pay, a button that says pay. When you get money, you just get money. Yeah. It just goes in your thing. And it'll say, you don't, this person isn't in your contacts list. What's Are you sure you want digits? to pay yeah, him yeah. money? Listen, the sad yeah. part is, is it will eventually work. Yeah. And yeah. he's going to get like an $8,000 check. The IRS is going to come after him. He's going to go <laughs> missing. And then we get free for the cheese sticks for a year. Last thing on Usher. So... The reason that he's doing it is he is doing a tour called Usher Past, Present, and Future, which this becomes such a good ad for because you're like, holy yeah. shit, look at all this. Um, and they do say that they track this. And in 2020, Shakira's Spotify streams went up 230%. Wow. Uh, 2018, Justin Timberlake's. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great play. 500%. It just seems fucked 12, to not pay him a little bit. She said 1,200%. Uh, 500%. I think for Rihanna last year wow. had to pay out of her own pocket for production and everything. Like, That's crazy. That, like, and I don't know. I'm just a man on a podcast. I don't know a lot of things, but it, the, give him something. Yeah. Yeah. You know how like in a, like a commercial, they'll give you like a shooting, like a day of shooting fee or whatever. And then you get residuals. Mm -hmm. That's what this should be. You should Shoot get, something. you should get something on like a shoot day or whatever. And then you should get like the residuals of yeah. blah, blah, blah. But to give them nothing. I mean, his tour is about a fucking bag out. Cause I'm gonna be honest. I love Usher. I grew up on him, but if I saw he was coming to town, I don't know if I'd be sold on it. But now seeing that, I'd be like, oh, this is a, uh, a snippet of what his show's going to be. Yep. I would absolutely go. Yeah, my man on Rollerblades. Dude, did I tell you I saw Usher in the, the play Chicago on Broadway? No. Fucking unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. He put like such a cool like Usher spin on the character. Yeah, that's an underrated <sighs> side play when you, just do a, when you do a play. Yeah. The motherfucker's just in a play. It's so cool because it, I mean, this is, sounds so stupid because it's so obvious, but he's so close to you. It's like a theater of like a thousand people. Like yeah. he's like right the fuck there. Usher. Oh, like the Usher. He was actually paid $1,000 a day, a uh, union minimum oh, for great. artists. So. Great, great, yeah. I'm sure he'll, that's his Trisket budget. Yeah. What are you even <laughs> fucking talking about? He's like literally $1,000 for his toothpicks. Remember when toothpicks were big? And people had like metal, like diamond out toothpicks? 
metal toothpicks? Sir. Some diamonds? Yes, diamond. I think Diddy, nails. I think Diddy had one. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like a. They, fuck. they have caffeine toothpicks. I want those. I just want to have ten of them in my mouth like a scarecrow. <laughs> Instead of coffee. Do Can I, scarecrows I, work? Hey! Are birds that stupid? Yeah. They're not even real. Well, imagine going back to the bird colony. You're like, hey, do not go down there, dog. The bird colony? Yeah, what is oh, that? Oh, like the birdhouse? Bird nest. Where do birds go at night? Trees? I guess trees. Do they go to sleep? Birds house are too small. Yeah, well, they, they got to scoosh in there. <laughs> do they live in there? Do they have their baby? Dude, this is a real question. Do birds go to sleep? And when do they sleep? At night? night. I think night. But, dude, they <laughs> just God. sleep vertical. They <laughs> just, they post up. They don't, but they don't, <laughs> but they, they don't fall out of the tree? I don't what know. if they have a bad dream? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Do animals have bad, no, they definitely do, because my fucking Gigi has bad yeah, dreams. they shake rah, 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 rah. She, She's getting the ball in her dream. It's so cute. Yeah, she runs. She runs. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> it's yeah, so yeah. cute. They literally run. That's awesome. Sleepy birds are low key very cute. Look at Let these sleepy see. birds. Oh, oh they don't, they, don't they tuck in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kinda, he, they get all big and fluffy and then they oh, kind of tuck in. Dude, they're wearing a fucking Helix mattress. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Valentine's Day. Speaking Las Vegas. Cute. What do you want to hear about first? Vegas? Valentine's Day? Oh, let me guess. Uh, butt plugs. Dude, I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I Amazon primed it. Primed it. Hold on. Hold on. Overnighted it. And you. Okay, hold on. For okay, for you, like your ass. No. Oh, a woman. A woman's butt. Yes. How many did you get? Three. Just, what, like, Three's what? company, baby. But, well, like, it, was, it was a one variety you, you pack. So it was a variety, variety pack. pack. It was oh. variety pack, and there are different sizes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You did well. Here's the thing. Yeah, I had like a ten thousand reviews. I will say America's though, horny. trying to pick a butt plug that you feel like would fit in there, that's a risky proposition. Because what if you pick one that's too big? You're like, that'll fit. I, I, it I, won't. Well, that's why I got the variety pack. I love it. One through three, because one, small, but yeah. it's like a diamond star stud. Yep. I don't know. Like, so what do you just look at it down there? Buddy, that's why, the that's why I got a tail one. What? Oh, yeah. We talked about that on, on Patreon last oh, week. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you got a what one? My girl and I, we ordered a, a tail one. Last week on Patreon. I have so many reviews. Look at but that. but Oof. how does that work? Like when yeah, you, you, you kind of just move it out of the way and like hold it in your hand. Mm. Fuck. Honey, turn my dick on. Turn it on. That's weird. Nope. You ever want to fuck a raccoon? <laughs> Never. <laughs> well, uh -uh. You're lost. I want to shoot a raccoon. <laughs> wait, what do you wait? Go up. I'm trying to find the top, top right. There she one. is. Oh, you got the heart ones? Yeah. Where? Valentine's Dude. Day. Hold on, top right. I'm gonna get a Pentagon one. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that, so, there it is. It's not that one, but it looks like that one. And they all have individual bags. Bro, I was about to bring it to Vegas, and I was like, I can't fly with that. Did the tail one come in the mail yet? Yeah. Have you tried it yet? No. We, I can't we, fucking wait. We, we, what we're are you gonna, waiting we're for? Go, we're gonna go away this weekend, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Are you driving or flying? Well, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the tail in. Answer, She's gonna fly. <laughs> answer. Wait, really? No. What, are you I, flying? It was a joke. Are you flying? Put, I was gonna put the tail in her ass, and then she was gonna fly because I was. It's an animal. She's a chipmunk. You got it. <laughs> well, no, but not all animals fly. Nah. Well, in this bitch. Cheer glider. Where are you going this weekend? Santa Barbara. Oh, you're driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I was yeah, gonna say, if you fly with it, it's hilarious. We don't have to check it. No, no, no. No. Um. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try it then. I'm actually very excited. But anyways, uh, Valentine's Day. So you have you? I got that lube and vibrating panties. Vi hold on. What do, the whole thing shake? Or is there a vibrator on the cooter so part? So it's, it's uh, yeah, the cooter part. And then there's a little slip on the inside. Little You put a little, uh, little, buzz, little buzz buzz. Yeah. And you control it with clicker or an oh, app. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, top right. Something like that. But I don't know if it's that. And they're waterproof. Hey. Okay, hold on. So 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 it goes in. It goes in. Yep. And then you can vibrate. Okay, here's the thing. I remember the last, the first time we talked about it. was this, a jury I was, duty? I was so out. But I'm in. I like this. Why would you not be in? Because you're in control. It's hot. I know, dude. But I, she's ordering a frappuccino. And she's like, yeah, can I do a venti? <laughs> I want it to be at a nice restaurant. Yeah. You know what I mean? You she can goes, do it anywhere. I'll have the octopus. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. This side of Amazon is always so surprising to me. Like, this is on what? Amazon. What? <laughs> How do our fucking clips get flagged and this doesn't get taken out immediately? Whoa. This woman is Whoa. projectile semening on something. Wait, so hold that's on. A, you can add this to your penis, add more girth. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a girth sleeve. Dude, Send it's, like me those, that it's like those things you put in your shoes and make you two inches taller. Yeah. Dude, this is fucking amazing. Hold on. So you can add, oh, the ones to the right, dude. 
I'm gonna try this. Do you thing. think that this would feel good on on a woman? I would like to give it a try. Yeah. Well, the the illustration is insane. Here's the problem though. I don't want to do this and then it work like incredible and then I'm just locked into this. <laughs> yeah, I you guess. know what I mean? No, no, because then you know what I mean. You like go yeah, away. Yeah, but 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 you don't. Not every you meal you this? have. Not every meal you have is steak. Sometimes you have a top ramen. So this is the steak dinner. Yeah, but then but then you realize how bad top ramen is. The, yeah. If you had steak and then top ramen. Exactly. You don't think a vibrator's not doing that every night when you leave? That's true. Bye, honey. Have fun at home. I mean, 100%. Oh my it's God, just, I can't even walk. Not for me. Y'all be hitting cervixes. I don't, I don't, I be hitting cervixes. Where is it? It's inside. I be hitting cervixes. I don't know if it's a her cervix is just placed in appropriate distance for me, mm -hmm. but I, sometimes I'll be in, ow, like that. Whoa. Yeah. You hit the, you. Cervix. Really? Yep. What are you doing for Santa Barbara? For this Valentine's Day, Valentine's <clears throat> yeah. Day excursion? You guys, yeah, what, what are you playing? Are you guys doing like a massage? Are you guys doing a beach walk? All, doing dude, a literally all of it. That's what that, you're such a sweet guy. You really are. Hell yeah. You're, no, you're a romantic guy. I think that's underrated. I am. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I don't think we give you enough love on that. You're a very romantic guy. Thank you. I mean, it's so funny. We just you, you just bought 19 butt plugs. But besides that, but that's the end of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like um, there's two sides to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because you want the romance and the roses and yeah. all that, and then you want to be like, fucking, what am I going to talk about on the podcast? Facts. So yeah, we're gonna do all that. We're gonna do the like a beach walk, massages. Uh, we got reservations at two like really nice restaurants. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go to the driving range. Stop. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the actual day in the weekend. She's oh. in, she's in a golf. She oh. plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. It's not like a. It's not like a whole oh, babe. Fuck me well, it's just so funny because it's all like. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. It's romance. Ah, four yeah. irons. No, no. She she played her whole life. Really? Yeah, yeah, dude. I I had my golf clubs. Um, I didn't tell you this. I fucking uh popped both of my tires, or popped one of them and the other one got. Why would you do up. that? Oh, uh, I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving down a goddamn Laurel Canyon and hit the biggest pothole of my Dude, life because stupid that ass road rain. Is fucked. Yeah, ga 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 ga. I mean, literally, I mean, a mile and a half on a flat ass. You ever driven on yeah, a flat I got tire? Yeah, I got a same. I got a flat tire on the same fucking road. Fuck that road. They just don't fix it. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> just, I think it's just because the richest people live in those hills and they're always flying out. They're like, yeah, they don't care. I think that's the. I think that should be the opposite, right? Yeah. It's, it's so annoying, but yeah, then I had to fucking spend a billion dollars on stupid ass. Tires are so dumb. So uh, I had to get my car in, but I took the golf clubs out of it. And so my golf was sitting in the, in the uh, living room and I was kind of like talking to my girl and kind of fucking around with the golf club. And uh, she's like, oh, let me swing. Hottest thing I've ever seen in my life. You think popping booty on a fucking pole's hot? You ever watch your girlfriend swing a golf club? Good. Rock hard. No one's on board? No, I am. I, I, okay. I didn't know if you were done telling the story yet. I, that was it. That was it. I mean, one thing led to another. 18 holes. Which, which one? Sex. Wow. <laughs> so you watch a swinging club and you're like, let me in there. Yes. Yeah. I only need one hole. Fuck 18. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just how you present. No, I think it's hot. And that's great. That's cool because oh. you have a joint thing you can talk yeah. about and do. But uh, it was just so funny. You're like beach walk, massage, reservations, <laughs> top golf. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Top Golf is going to be packed at, on Valentine's it will Day. Be. Um, it will be. I don't know. I don't know what women want for Valentine's Day. Flowers, a, a card. Card is big. Card's huge. But I think my penmanship takes the sexiness out of it. Oh, is it not, not good? No. Oh, I don't think I look like I'm it. trying to carve with a big pen. Oh, shit. It's not good. What happened? Maybe you're supposed to be left handed. <sighs> I don't know. I think there's a lot of things wrong with me. Did you ever learn uh, calligraphy? No. Or cursive, I mean, sorry. Curse, yeah. Yeah, okay. Didn't everybody? Nope. You didn't learn? No, I did. But I'm just saying, there's it's a cutoff. Now yeah. there's no cursive. They stopped. They stopped? Yeah, dude, they got an AI robot sucking yeah, teachers' dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you think they got time? What was for the point of cursive? English? To write back to the 1800s? Calligraphy is so, I mean, cursive crazy. is dumb too. A cursive is stupid. You, you, little do, fucking loop de loops. You do like write so much faster though. You literally don't have to take your fucking pen off the thing. My, I do Wait, like they a. They stopped that. They stopped cursive. Yeah, cursive. Who's is they? Not, the government. The government. Yeah. No, it is I, the government. I like write 
my normal writing kind of just looks like cursive because I just get like if I'm writing there, the E, the R, and the E, they're they're bundled up. You guys are sharing one word. You know, because I actually have pretty good handwriting. You know, I don't know how to spell the word when my handwriting is really bad. Yeah, because you're like, what is that? You're like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Whatever the right way to spell restaurant is, that's spell restaurant. R E S T A U A R A N T. Was there an extra A? I think you got it. But it's like an A somewhere. Restaurant. Restaurant. It's so dumb. Um, golf Wait, you club. Spell it. No, dude, it's a nightmare. R okay. That's I'll, that this, Patrice this, bit. It's so fucking funny. Oh, it's so funny. Uh R E R E S T A A U R A N T. Yeah. Fuck you! That's how I spelled it. Oh, really? It's A U A or A U R. A U R. Guys. I'm no, proud. Thank you. I can't believe no one's sucking my cock right now. That was crazy. I'm still trying to figure out how to anything. spell it. <laughs> God damn. This episode is sponsored by our friends at ZocDoc. Dude, what is it? I'll tell you the place where you can find and book doctors who make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you, dude. And let me tell you something. I use ZocDoc. I freaking love it, okay? Because the entire medical marketplace is a nightmare. I don't know nightmare. what's happening. I don't Dumb, know what's happening. stupid. Dumb, okay? But this place is so... It's just easy. ZocDoc is a free app free. and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you, hot local singles in your area, near you, and instantly book appointments with them online. Okay, everything's at your fingertips. You can search, you can put in the filters, you put in your insurance, the type of doctor you want, and it has reviews, which is awesome because some doctors are creepo weirdos, okay? And it makes me feel comfortable every single time I use ZocDoc. I, I hate going to Kaiser Permanente. That shit is so annoying. You got to get an appointment just just to make it an appointment. Dumb. Stupid. You put me on a ZocDoc. I've been using it so much better. Buddy, the typical wait time to see a doctor, you know, booked on ZocDoc is between 24 to 72 hours. That is it. Okay? And that's also what I'm sick of. You, you, you can even score same-day appointments. Buddy. You can you, even, I don't know if you heard me. You can yeah. even score same-day appointments. Huge. Every single time I call my doctor, they go, oh, uh, cool, three months. What? Yeah. I don't, I'm missing an arm. <laughs> help me. ZocDoc can help you. So go to ZocDoc.com slash socks and download the ZocDoc app for free, dude. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That is Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash socks. ZocDoc.com slash socks. Go to ZocDoc.com slash socks and download the ZocDoc app for free. God damn. So how are you going to get into the the foxhole? A. Um, I Nothing? don't. No, it's good. I took me a second. I you you'll hear it back on the recording. I went. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was my quiet. favorite. That was my favorite. Oh yeah, the the gay the, pop because that's a <sighs> high educated joke. When Jack laughs, I feel great, but I know it's lowbrow comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Jack are linked. Like, this would crush in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> it's my whole fan base. Oh, <laughs> um, what are we saying? Uh. Um, I think it might be a, I think it might be a, a, a second night. Oh, the second night. How many nights? Two, three. Hey, sex. So what are you doing on the third night? Sleeping. I'm tired. Um, no, I mean I think we sort of have it loosely planned because well, we're gonna get in late Friday. Mm-hmm. Saturday is gonna be like late the- Friday. It's a fucking thirty minute drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, she, has, she has something yeah. to do late. Yeah. Who? Um, my girl. Mm. <laughs> Some bombing. <laughs> There's something to do. I said, "Who? Oh, who? Dude, cheating is crazy. <laughs> cheating. I mean, cheating. Oh. There's a, there's some probably funny- a lot of that in Vegas going on this oh, weekend. Oh, there was a lot of uh, couples you go. Ladies? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I took Southwest. Yeah. Shit hole. Wow. Dude. Oh. There was a man on the Southwest flight. I mean, he, I hope this man was just drunk. Uh-huh. He was, 
So Southwest, you pick your own seats. I, it's like I a can't fucking class field you. trip. Everybody is stupid. He is in the very first row of the plane, and he's sitting in the w- the window seat, and he has his leg across two seats, can't do that. middle and the aisle, and he he fucking seat belted his leg in there. No, <laughs> I swear all my life, you can have Zach. He was in the front row like this, seat belted, and he's talking out loud to himself when everybody's walking by. And then as the plane is like rolling to take off, he gets out. Out of his seat to go pee, and they're like, "Sir, sit! You have, so you have to sit." Down. God, dude, this guy, dude, here's Kentucky the Fried cooked. Here's the thing, though. I hope to God that this was all on purpose, so no one sat next to him. Yeah, what a genius plan! It had to have been. Nobody, I mean, dude, nobody sat next to him the whole flight. Who would sit next to my man? No, I, he, I think he he's was. a genius. Dude, he was taking the seatbelts and putting them over over his leg is the funniest thing I've ever seen. But it was the first thing I walked on the plane and saw. Was it back or there? There, two Vegas. There, two Vegas. I was dying laughing because people would look at him and they'd be like, "Oh, it's taken." Really? Yeah, he, dude. Because people, because like as the flight gets more and more full, when you're like the last like ten to board, you're like, "All right, the jig's up, man." Like we're pretty fucking full. Just didn't move for anybody. Even, did the stewardess say anything? I couldn't hear, but they were talking, but he was yelling at, on the flight. <laughs> Any flight to Vegas, I mean, God, what an eclectic group of people. It's like, it's just a mixture of everybody. Does anyone have fun in Vegas? I had a great time. It All was right. probably the best four days of my life. Well, I'm wrong. Fucking like everybody was there. I texted you about this. LeBron James was crazy. At, at lunch across from us. How big he's so it's big, massive. it's crazy. Well, so like some lady starts like clapping when he's and it's like brunch, it's broad daylight in the restaurant. Some lady's clapping. And I'm like, who the fuck? What are we just land a plane? And then all of a sudden we look, it's fucking LeBron. I'm like, dude, that's LeBron. That's LeBron. But like I'm, my whole life, I've just been seeing LeBron. Yeah. And so you see him, it's almost like not even like your your brain is like so used to just seeing him on like your screens and your TV, you're like, it's you're you're like overshocked. You're like overstimulated. Yeah. You're like fucking. What do I do here? How do I, act? dude? I when I saw when we were sitting next to him during the game, I was like, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Yeah, like there's nothing to do. God. but I I don't. He's it, yeah. I was such a pick me bitch. Everybody mm-hmm. was taking photos. He walked past our table. I didn't have my phone. I was like, what's up, man? He was like, what's up, Phyllis? And I was like, he's gonna remember that. He will. He's thinking about it right now. And then afterwards, I was peeing in the urinal. I was like, dude, we have the same birthday. I should have been like, Capricorn. <laughs> um, you guys dude, have the same birthday for real? December 3rd. Me, oh. him, Tiger Woods. Three great gentlemen. Legends. And Goats. three people right on the same level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they just got, let me. Who do you have a bir- share a birthday with? Do you know? No. Go to famous August, birthday. August 7th. Famous people. Just me. Psych. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Hot hey. guy. Cool. Uh, we've got. That's it. Uh, Charlize Theron. Cool. She did Monster. Oh, Trev's got LeBron. You've got Mike Trout. Same. Same shit. Uh, Is Mike Trout, who's like the goat in baseball? Is it like Barry Mike Bonds? Trout. Who's no. a hot guy? Who's a hot guy? Mike Trout Bryce for Harper. real? Mike Trout, like modern day goat. Yeah. Barry Bonds like is better than Trout. Sammy Sosa. Ever, Mark McGuire. Like what about steroids, those guys? Steroids. Who gives yeah. a fuck? They're so oh, cranky. Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby? Oh, he's a goat. Sidney Sweeney. How about her? She's fine. What? What? Oh, I see. Girlfriend answer. Hey, you share a birthday with Michael Blaustein. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're on this list. Do we There's know who no dad is? You're on, on a list? list? There's no way. Hey, There's- what list? All of them. Uh, anyways, LeBron fucking walks by. Dude, let me just give you a recap. And, I, and, and this sounds super name dropping. I'm sorry, but like this, like this was the first Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Fucking everybody was there. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me, well, I don't even know where the fuck to start, dude. Um, I went to, I re-met up with Sean Evans. Oh, cool. We're linking up. We're fucking, we're going to a, a club. We walk into this table where Zed's playing and behind the table, Gordon Ramsay's there. So it's fucking me, what? Sean Evans, Gordon Ramsay across me is the Nelt guys. Just hilarious. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay at a nightclub. I'm yeah. like, I cannot Go picture him. Go yell at somebody. Put what are him you doing up. there? Dude, imagine him before the drop. Do, 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 you fucking idiot sandwich, cunt. <laughs> um, they should have had him. I'm trying to think who else. I mean, it was just fucking star-studded. Um, oh, yeah, Guy Fieri linked up with him at the Burt What the, Bert, f- what the, the fuck Bert are these chefs doing there? I don't know. Oh, okay. Chefs well, they all, money. Yeah, and they, they a lot of them have, like, Gordon Ramsay has, like, a oh, huge restaurant, restaurant in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so, did we go? 
Didn't we go? Yeah, we like, did. Gordon uh, Ramsay. He's a burger place. Um, um, he has Hell's Kitchen. How how's uh, uh, Guy Fury? How's he? He was person? actually really chill. I I I thought he was gonna be. Uh, I don't really know. I thought it was just going to big time, but he's actually really cool. He's really nice to me. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if he was just drunk or if he was saying nice words. But he's like, "Dude, you're hilarious, man. You got to monetize your worth." And I'm like, Aww. "What are you saying?" Um, but yeah, I mean, he was he was actually really fucking cool. He was the first person I saw when I was there that I was like, "Cause this green room." I, so I opened for Burton, Tom Kreischer. Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> Bert Kreischer, Tom Segura at MJ Marina. It was fucking nuts. It was like thirteen thousand people. So many people. But the lineup was me, Bobby Lee, Shane Gillis, Jesus Bert, Christ, and Tom. Who I went mean, before you? Me. I opened the fucking thing. Oh it, no! We talked about this. We thought we were going. We thought there was gonna be a, no, like a host. No, 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 no. Lights went dim. Bert hopped on the the God mic that over you know the whole arena goes. It went dark. Everyone's cheering like, and ladies and gentlemen, now he's got a new special, uh, Trevor Wallace. And the crowd had a good pop. So I was like, okay, thank fucking God. I mean, dude, it's it was just in these pictures. Like, God dude, it's damn, so dude. I mean, it was it's so fucking, sick for you uh, to be honest. I saw that on. Uh, Cigars. Just like look at those. The fact that screens that massive are up that yeah, that just tells you yeah. how big this dude, fucking dude. Room. That I mean, fucking people are so crazy. Like your average like college size arena, if not bigger. I mean, it was. But the green room was fucking like Shane Gillis, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Jelly Roll, uh, a bunch of Jesus football players. Christ. Who the fuck else was there? What did you do when you walked in? I get so nervous to think about that, dude. I was shitting my pants because like I went to sound check and it's Burton Tom and I'm just like. You know, I can't have any opinion on like, oh, Nothing. let's change the lights, let's change the audio. Because yeah, yeah. I just want to feel it out. And then I get there, like, I'll be here at seven shows at eight. I get there at seven, and I'm just going to, I was like, I'm going to find a room. I'm going to go over my, my set. Yeah. Just talk it out a bunch. Right as I get in there, it's like Bobby's in there. Me and Bobby are talking. Cool. Shane shows up. Oh, fuck. You got to catch up with Shane. Gotta see. <sighs> so, yeah. like, it shows in like 10 minutes, and I'm like, I haven't gone over my set. I did earlier that day, but I was like, I gotta fucking yeah, I'd be so losing I'm, my I'd be, mind. Right I'd now. be like in a conversation. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'd be in the bathroom going over like this, like TSA joke. Oh, fit, fit. Yeah, yeah. I was shitting bricks. I was so nervous. Yeah, I was dude. so fucking yes. nervous. But it went really well. I, I, I honestly, I think my Jewish brain anxiety was like, dude, you're gonna bomb. You're gonna bomb. I'm not saying it was standing ovation worthy, but I think for biting the bullet in front of that crowd where I was announced, I think I did uh, as good as you could in that scenario. It was fucking dude, awesome. I mean, bro, fun, going man. out there to a f to a cold audience. Cold audience. Of 13,000 fucking Dude, people. Dude, luckily it's like on a Saturday, it was Vegas, people were like boozing. It was fucking like, was, the comedy gods were looking at me. You yeah. know what's funny is like the week before I had three shows that I fucking hated. Ugh. That just were so mid. The audience was just dead. Nobody cared. And then I go, Vegas is going to be good. Yeah. Because that's just how comedy works. Yeah. So you have a really shitty show, you have a really good show. Because oh, then my God. Wise Guy show on Wednesday was fucking awesome. Yeah. It was the first time I did an hour after the special when they announced like, uh, Trevor Wallace, he had a new special out. Have you guys seen it? They're like, yeah. Like, so oh, a lot of people did. So I was like, yeah. Vegas was fucking awesome. The shows were great, but that show was fucking. And then the after party was just fucking every. Vince Dude, Vaughn the, was there. How did the start to come back on the? I just want to like, how did like the laughs? Like, how did it feel? Was it was, it it was like definitely it was definitely delayed. Yeah, but the it was like I was getting like laughs and it was cool, cool, cool. And then I forget what joke got like this like big pop, and I was like. Oh, there's the arena boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at first it was like, okay, these are jokes. This is an arena. This is pretty steady. But there was like one of it was like this like pop. It was on the road ahead joke. Yeah, yeah. And it was like within like 30, 40 seconds. It was yeah. like a big like pop. And I was like, oh, there's the feeling Fuck. of the arena. And you had to wait for it to come back to you? Yeah. God, that's so It was wild. fucking awesome. I I was very I was very like was blessed like, to be there. What? It looks like it's like a UFC stage. That it was in the it was in the round. So, so it was three sixty. So yeah, also I'm that? fucking like yeah. pacing around. I mean it's oh, like in the round? it was in the round, oh dude. My so I'm God. like turning corners and the, I mean there's giant screens. Dude, that's I, so I, crazy, I honestly like the round because it keeps you more energized, yeah. more like pacey. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, if you're that pacey and it's just like a screen, like an audience straight ahead, it, you look kind of like a little weird. But um, it was fucking awesome. So. Bert and Tom, thank you so much for the opportunity. God, it was that's fucking so cool. were great. They, were they, I know, I know you know Bert pretty well. Was Tom cool? Tom was great. Yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, uh, leading up to it, uh, he was like, "Give me 10, 10? You you can do ten, right?" I was like, "Yeah, of course," because I couldn't yeah. be like, "Huh?" And and then I did. And afterwards, he was like, he watched the set and like said so said crazy. nice things, which yeah. was fucking awesome. Because like, first of all, they didn't even need to have me on that show, and they didn't even need to watch. Usually, you'd think the opening act they'd be still be in the green room just hanging out. Yeah. Like they didn't need to watch, but they said real nice things, and uh, it was really just like a fucking career milestone. It was awesome. Um, wow. It felt like right place, right time. Like it was fucking Holy really fuck, dude. It was really cool. Can you make it a little bigger, dude? That's so dude, Shane nuts. fucking ripped. 
Really? Yeah, I mean, he got a standing ovation the second they announced his name. Like, just uh, immediate. Really? Crazy. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> they said his name because he wasn't on the lineup, so they announced it. Just oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Holy you walk shit. through the crowd like a UFC fighter to get to the stage? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Cool. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, but I took the wrong route. Dude, I was so <laughs> nervous. The guy who was like leading, he's like, you know how to get on stage, right? I was like, yeah. And then I took the wrong route. I mean, dude, I would, he, I'm, I've never been that nervous in my life. Yeah. In my life. Because I've done like this shit, like, probably the second time was that Canada show we did with Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the, oh, I, it was. You know, but the Canada show with Tom was like seven and it was outside it was in the outside. day. Yeah, yeah. This this was this was fucking awesome. Um, Dude. it was really. I mean, bro, cool experience. You, I, I, I'm stupid, and I told you not to do it. I was like, I don't know, man, fucking crazy. Yeah, but I mean, you you were right. Obviously, you made the right call. But like, I mean, that's but that's the coolest part about this thing, man. Is you you feel you feel fear, and then you're like, nope. Yeah, it was I'm like, just gonna fucking do it. There's like that quote, it's like you have fear, just do it, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I've, I've been big on quotes lately. I've been loving quotes. Quotes are great. Quotes are, I'm a fucking sucker for quotes. Dude, quotes are great. Motivational uh, fucking videos, I, I be getting hard off that thing. Yeah. People going on fucking, like scrolling, looking at boobs. No. I look at Jocko Willink, whatever the hell his name is. You got, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, he's like, oh, you break your leg. It's funny Good. you know Jocko Willink, but not Ed Sheeran. They're the same person. <laughs> um, but the whole Vegas scene was great. I did a Swifty video out there. So it, it was like Vegas for four days, very intimidating. I didn't want to go. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I filled it up with work. It was fucking awesome. The Swifty video. Uh, Travis Kelsey. Um, if, did you see his? his I saw the, no, I saw the nothing. winning speech at I saw the nothing. end. I saw nothing. I saw that the Kansas City I mean, people I, won. I, I love him, and he's a hot looking dude. But this speech, it. You know what it was. If you could just play, it's just so like... You talking about the football uh, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I think I've got it. All right, give it to me. What, his so speech, uh, <clears throat> uh, pre pretty much all the girls are like, mm -hmm, activated, whatever. It doesn't fuck. He's a millionaire and he's hot as fuck. And he's looking up with Taylor Swift. But uh, it's... I don't know. Let me know read on it. Okay. Cheese Kingdom! Not this part. What do you say? Cheese, Cheese Kingdom. Kingdom. This is, this is right after the end. Hey, Elvis never had it better than that right there. Let yes, me tell did. you, to win this one, when we met a couple of days ago, you know, you said, and I'm not looking ahead, but we got a lot more we want to do here, baby. You said, oh, wow. we want we want a three-peat. How about what? that? Well, you know, the goal's always been to get three. But we couldn't get here without getting the two and having that target on our back all year. And I love these guys right here. The men that we just won this thing with, family forever, baby. I couldn't be more proud of you guys. And how about it? We get a chance to do it three times in a row. How do you get excited for that, baby? You go party in Las Vegas, then get back to it. Hey, you still got to fight for your right, don't you? You got to fight for your right. He sounds like a Spotify playlist on repeat. Like, he just keeps Dude, he, skipping around. He sounds like he's been watching all the motivational videos. He was just hitting buzzwords after buzzwords. Dude. The fucking girls who love Taylor Swift are looking at this, and he's talking like that, and they're like, guys, he's yelling. Guys, he's yelling. <laughs> also, when he yelled at the coach, when he's like, fucking yeah. put me in. He yelled at the coach. What was that about? They were just, he just wasn't, he had caught like one pass in the first half, and then he's like, fucking put me in. Give me the ball. I'm the guy. Like, let me do shit. And I think he was pretty much like, I think he wasn't playing. He was like, put me in. Didn't he push him? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Fired up. But all the social was like, he's mean. I'm like, he's six foot seven with a hog on him. He also You think he's going to fucking pass a note to Andy Reid? Yeah. But but it was just funny to see the comments. Like, if, like uh, people we know were like sharing the story. Like, officially got the egg. That's what did it? He's from Kansas City. Is he? This guy puts a long cut in his ass. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's... You, but, like, it's just... Yeah. The, it, it, you know what it sounded like? is like when comedy clubs will give you a tape and the the audience isn't mic'd and it, you just hear your microphone. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, he was bombing. <laughs> there it is. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, but, he was... He was at, but, like, like he, he didn't, thought that... Yeah. It was like... He was. He wanted them to be so involved and they didn't give a fuck. Because well, nobody from there was from Vegas. The Viva Las Vegas felt like it was a swing of the miss. You should have gone, like, more like a Chiefs route. 
The isn't, funny thing is, he, a, did Viva, he did the Viva, Viva Las Vegas thing, and then at the end, he did one, and he did the ear thing, and everyone said, shut up. Like, and no think, one responded. Well, Chiefs have, like, a whole fucking chant. We are in, dude, the, the people in Vegas were fried. Yeah. Dude, well, we were in an elevator, and it was all Chiefs people, and they were doing the chant. I was like, this guy, stop. <laughs> it's too loud. There's too many decibels at 9 a.m. What's the chief chant? Hey, <sighs> chief. Go chief. What is it? Do you know it? It's like the oh, 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 oh that. Yeah, it's no, very like highbrow. That's the sent sent right? Okay. But like you think that would it? It's the same, I think. Oh. Why wouldn't you do this? What, what what is the Vegas promo? Bro, that gets me fired up. That I think Florida State does the same one. Yeah. So does the the Atlanta Braves do that too with the chop? Same shit. Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. Yeah. There's not a lot wow. of originality in sports. <laughs> <laughs> but like, why wouldn't he have done that? Why are you plug in Vegas? You get a brand deal? Is Probably. this year being like, uh, here you go, here's your money? Yeah, I just I think that he he played football his whole life, <laughs> and that's period. I mean, he probably he's probably operated on CTE minimum. Man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> And that's I'm not trying to be mean. I mean, like, it's he's he was bombed. He bombed the whole time. But it's just funny, and and it's funny to see like those acceptance speeches versus like Oscars or Grammys, and it's two wildly different categories. But it's so funny. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I would like to thank my team and the Academy and all the writers and the you know, fuck goddamn fight, motherfucking <laughs> put F three fifty in the middle of the sphere. I mean, can you imagine the Taylor. adrenaline? It's the no, Super Bowl, yeah. like the fucking, and you're just. And you just. Oh, I mean, the adrenaline. I mean, the adrenaline. I wouldn't be thinking straight. Yeah, I there's mean, you no must way. feel so powerful in that moment. You're like, like if there's I was Taylor there, Swift the, over there. Dude, that's I would have done girl, the Pledge right? of Allegiance if I was up there. I would not have been <laughs> in the right headset. I, I, you, yeah, well, that would have been like, you want to do a speech? I'm like, I want to come. <laughs> yeah. Well, you speech. <laughs> um. I, yeah. I, you'd think that he would say something about Taylor, maybe. Yeah. Quick plug or like a wink. Yeah. That would set the Swifties on fucking fire. It is. I, I would will, announce I, a podcast. I will 100%. <laughs> I'd announce my tour dates. Listen and the to Stiff Socks. Taylor, I love you. <laughs> it is a little odd for him not to say, like, everybody is watching his speech to be like, what, what's he going to say here? Ju well, just say, like, thank, like, thank my thank team. You, thank, thank you, Kansas my family. City. Thank you for my lovely girlfriend, Taylor. Like, just something. Yeah. But this guy's like, Vegas. Bro, bro. He's like, literally, like, he's like operating yeah. like an F 350. He's like, like, like Joe Rogan's Dude, sperm. It, it sounded, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh. <laughs> the, it sounded like a speech you'd hear from an upstairs neighbor. You like, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, he, he sounds like anyone after 5 a.m. in Vegas. Yeah. What are you? He sounds like the dude in the Southwest flight. <laughs> he sound, yeah. <laughs> he sounds like he just left the concert and his, his voice decibels aren't like leveled out yet. And he's just yelling. Because the other guy was like, hey, great win out there. He's like, God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> Does he not sound like that all the time? I've never seen him. I don't talk. know. I've only seen him calm. Well, does he talk right like that? I know he's he not. He talks yelling, cool. But he does, yeah. He, but I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, he's, just, the the Vegas plug was just it blew my mind. Like not blew my mind. And this, uh, he's a great guy. He fucking won a Super Bowl. What do I have to say? I'm, you know, built like a spork. I have nowhere to talk. But like, it just was random. I mean, he has Viking blood in him. Yeah. You think he? You think he's articulate? Yeah, it says true. I mean, he literally just for a living. He mows down other top athletes for a living. Yeah. And you shove a microphone in his face? What do you think's going to come out? True. Do you know what that's I mean? True. I mean, the, that adrenaline's got to be fucking yeah. crazy. Motherfucker talk like a Mustang GT. <laughs> 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 Goddamn. This next ad is brought to you by us. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon. Okay. Listen, listen. We, go, go, we go. say Patreon all the time. You're like, we're sick of it. We've heard it. But have you heard of Apple Plus? No, I haven't. Steve Can you Sox please elaborate? Plus, baby? So we do the same thing, extra episode on Apple. You're okay. like, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to hear more of you guys. Go to Apple. We you listen to your podcast up top, it'll say Stiff Socks Plus, $4.99 a month. And you get an extra episode every single week, every Friday. We're Ad about free? to record on it right now. And I'm feeling limber. I'm loose. feeling limber. And I got a lot to talk about. Oh. Things are changing. And that's why we like Patreon because we can talk about wild crapola without feeling, you know, it's a safe space. Okay. Yeah. So if you like the wild content, you can get extra wild with the Patreon because we feel more comfortable because our family does not listen. To There's also that. a free trial for that. And it's, yep. it's the back catalog since we started Patreon in like 2018. It's like, like two, it is all, 200 episodes. All like of them. So, and you're like, oh, oh this must be $3,000 a month. It's not. It's freaking $5 a month. Okay. $5 a month. So you can go on. How much uh, per day is that? 
35, 60 cents a day. Did you do that? I don't know. If you did that right, that'd be crazy. I don't think it's that. I think it's, it's way not. too much. I think it's, I'm going to guess 13 cents a day. You can sponsor uh, a child in Africa. I think it is 60 cents a day. Somewhere. That's not right. There's 32. Oh. 32 that days? 31 days. Longest that ever. It's not. It's like, I think it might be like 11 cents. Bombing. Bombing. No, not. Do it, please. 30 divided by $5. Well, 31. No, because you got to average out because February. Uh, hold right. on. Plus, February has a leap year this year. If you don't just do this, okay, let's just divide it by But isn't it divided by 500? Because it's 500 cents? What? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. And that's not right either. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's 62 cents. Trevor was close to It's not here. right. Do 60, do 60 times 31. No, it's 60. Yep. Times, times 31. 31. Yep. Is 1,860. <laughs> what the fuck does that prove? <laughs> oh, God. I'm so confused now. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 31 times 0.6. Because that would be 60 cents. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Bear with us, everyone. <laughs> 31 times 0. 0.06? No, 6. 0. 0.06. 6 cents. Oh, it's way less than 60 cents. 18, that's for that's sure. That's what I said. 18 cents a day? Michael, it's so much less than that. <laughs> 231 times 0. 0.11, please. More of the story, it's five bucks a month. <laughs> and you could can hear... Can we leave all this? No, it's more... It's more can we leave the whole this in? It was great. I think all it's right. like more like 14 cents. <laughs> Dude, I think it's practically free. But, so what's minimum wage right now? 12, 15? Dude, minimum wage, minimum wage is like 15 bucks, 16 bucks. I'm considering going to work at a minimum wage job. That's good money. That's three months of Patreon one month. Three, oh, oh, yeah. Five dollars. All, all we're trying to say is Subway has footlong cookies. All right, cut this. Gabe, let's go into it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Gabe is still trying to figure One by one. <laughs> Do 30, do 30 let's times 16. Let's leave all this in, please. <laughs> okay, so it's about 16 cents. It's slightly more than right. 16 cents a day. All right, that is 16 so cents good. a day. It's incredible content. Uh, so if you want to do the Patreon, it's patreon.com backslash tipsuckspod. And if you want to do the um, Apple, um, it's the same exact bonus content, just no video. And that is uh, Tip Sucks Plus on Apple. So go get it. We love you guys. On to the mother freaking episode. God damn. Uh, yeah. I have a question for you guys. How? Wh who do you think out of the winning team, like... What do you think the fastest it is that someone came after the game? Ooh, losing team, jerk off, showers. Losing team first? No, win, winning team. I mean, Somebody I'm, I'm, I'm going to fuck Andy Reid if I win. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That locker room is like crazy. Pop of champagne, somebody but, fucking in the corner. Here's the, here's the crazy part, and I know this is very unstiff socks like I don't think, if I win the Super Bowl, I don't want to fuck right then. Like, I need, like, three hours of being like, fucking fuck! Yeah, of course. Like, okay, what is the, the, the 49ers locker room looking after? It's got uh, quiet in Just there. a bunch yeah. of manifestos. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're like, I mean, dude, that is, I can't even fathom. Like, we've had bombs in our career. Oh, yeah. But, like, that feeling is times 20. Like, you went through an entire season of, like, injuries and, like, being away from your family and traveling and, like, just constant, like, just heartache. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. losing and winning and trying to push through and all this kind of stuff. You finally make it to the biggest stage of your entire career. And then you lose. And not lose like you get crushed or whatever. Like, you lose on, like, a nail-biter overtime. Yeah, race. I always feel bad for, like, the, the kicker missed an extra point after a field goal. Yeah. And it's then you get into the whole what-if world and blah, 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 yeah. if that would have won them the game. I'm not a sports analyst, but I'm sounding like it. But Yeah, well, you, said, you said a point after a field goal. So you're definitely not a sports analyst. <laughs> oh, no. Point after a touchdown. But We're missing dude, on now. you can if you're that guy, you cannot <laughs> check your DMs. No, you have to delete Instagram. Oh my god, man, it's crazy. If you look through any players, like the second a play oh happens, sometimes we'll go to somebody's Instagram and just oh, see. Oh, you it. would? So, yeah, oh, I, did like, it. I do I, the I game because you, you just see because that's like there's no comment section for the NFL, but like if you go to a player who gets a really good touchdown or or, or oh, blows a kick, you yeah. go to their comments immediately, and everyone's just either yelling or like booing or cheering or whatever. But oh, is his? Is his? Did you check his? Yeah, people weren't happy. Oh no, Oof. he's like I know I don't, I don't even read him. Feel, and like, he's like a young yeah. kid. I feel bad. I mean, he's a he's an amazing kicker too. He's not even yeah. like yeah. And he made a bunch of really good field goals. Yeah, it was well, just he, the he extra made, point. Yeah, he made two after that. There were like fifty, like very like, clutch, like plus fifty yards. So clutch. Can you imagine like getting your shit blocked and then making two? He made two right over fifty yards towards yeah, like, the end. Yeah, yeah, he like broke Fuck. a record. 
Yeah, I sorry, I wasn't I'm not on his Instagram. I'm I, there's an article from NBC that's describing the lo- 49ers locker room. Oh, okay. it just really? like a nightmare. There's no music playing, very little movement and no conversations. Yeah. Um uh I, I feel like some team. assistant coach is like, hey, we probably gave it her all, huh, guys? And just shut the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it's sad. A, I'm sorry. That's yeah. a quiet flight home. Facing his locker, legs straight out in front of him, eyes locked, his body completely motionless. But you know that, like, they can probably also just feel the fucking vibration of, like, oh, the yeah, celebration dude. directly outside. Dude, they like, just, could just hear the muffled of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's going to be tough. Some yeah. guy in the locker room turned to someone else and was like, look, we're not the only people that bombed. And they pointed <laughs> up to fucking his speech. Yeah. <laughs> um, Man. Well, guys, it's tough. Um, because it's uh, Valentine's Day today, Valentine's Day. I thought it would be fun to have you guys uh, take a look at this um, list of the surprising things that women say that they want for Valentine's Day. I love this. Who wrote this article? <laughs> this is from Thrillist.com. Great. Man or woman. Brand. Uh, this or- is... Doesn't say. Uh, it's unclear. It's two two authors in the byline. One of them two women. Authors. One of them unclear. Whoa. Um, so this is a survey of of different women and their responses. So, okay. um, there's a category of the women talking about what kind of food that they want for Valentine's Day. So Sandra says, for Valentine's Day, I want a big ass burger and no judgment for how fast I eat it. Great. That feels pick me. Um, the a lot of these are saying like I just want to eat a bunch of food. And I want you to to be okay with it. Get me as Who's much. It's not okay. Just eat the key. Wait, 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 is this? Wait, what? what huh? Uh, this feels like they're talking about the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, this is Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, but isn't it like, oh, I want my man to like cook for me? Who? What? Like, what? What do you eat on Valentine's Day besides like little heart shaped candies? Or like people go out to dinner, like dinner reservations, maybe. Yeah, like it doesn't a- strike me as like a, where we're like we're fucking hitting the town. Let's go to hometown buffet. It doesn't seem like a like we'd eat a lot. Is this new? Am I dumb? Well, but I think that that's what they're saying is that like the expectation for Valentine's oh, Day is like little dinner. I'm like, I yeah, want my yeah, guy yeah. to take okay. me out somewhere to have a fucking oh, steak. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Now I'm like, so okay, okay, okay. Um, so Gabby says on Valentine's Day, get me as much pizza as I realistically want to eat while you sit there and watch me put down a whole all pie. These seem what like, is this? All these seem like hinge prompts. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I just no, I just like in my head, I'm just like, this is because this is not it. Because if you showed up to Valentine's Day with three Domino's <laughs> pizza, you would leave with no girlfriend. <laughs> hey, eat this, babe. I don't care anymore. What <laughs> the fuck are you yeah, talking about? These feel like people I'm gluten free. <laughs> True. These feel like people who aren't in relationships, maybe, or I don't know. Like some like, of them aren't. And again, this is the surprising answers. You know oh, what I mean? I, oh. So uh, Colleen says, "Surprise me with a romantic getaway and a generous just because gift of a few grand in my checking account." I I I absolutely. Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> Colleen. Yeah, or Pauline. <laughs> I mean, I'm so sick of it. Pauline. Colleen. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. A couple grand. <laughs> In your checking account? Dude, that's crazy. You just open that's the card insane. and just start wiring information. I mean, we're gonna ACH some pussy. Could be a title. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> it's pretty good. Damn, but these feel like I wanted a joke answer. Like these feel like they're looking for like a laugh. I don't think it's real. Dude, or cu- that one, I don't know. I'd be stoked if I was a chicken something guy's like, here, here's three grand. I would love it. I mean, you know what? I don't know. It just seems so unromantic. If I like literally wrote my girl a check for two grand, she'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, At least wrap it in pizza first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, these, is, but, these are insane. Well, Thrillist this, is, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm very thrilled on their list. How about that? I mean, do you guys want a list that's just like, I want a little box of chocolate? No, no, no. Let's, keep, let's, let's keep going. Yeah. I, just, I thought there'd be some sexual tension. What do girls like? I know the girls like Valentine's Day, but like, what do they look for in the most? Is it the gifts? Is it the flowers? Is it the romance? Um, a lot I of the answers romance, here right? are, I just want someone to, I want proof that you've been paying attention, right? Yeah. I want Ooh, effort. Show me that you put good, thought behind it. Yeah, because you know? the gift I'm getting... Yeah, I think is very uh mine too. I think is like very like oh you kn- you paid attention. You've been, you've been listening. Yeah. Yeah, cuz my girl said that she's like this is she told me that this is like I'm very I'm so so excited about the gift I gave you. She's like this is my might be one of the best gifts I ever gotten gotten anyone and I'm like oh fuck. What is this? Yeah, but aren't you so glad she said that though? That like you should put that in your head that like I'm doing something crazy so you know like all right, I got to match it. Well, she said that and I, I was like girls oh. always say that though. <laughs> girls never been like, ah, oh, it's a bomb gift. No, but I've I've, <laughs> I've never had a girl say that with that much like 
confidence yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, I, I said to her, I was like, hold on. Are we? I actually have had a girl say it, be like, ah, uh, really? I don't know. I, I don't know if my gift is oh, going to be as good as yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, but maybe that's just downplaying it. I think Under so. promise over deliver. Here's the thing, though. Have you ever had head? A, yeah, have you ever had? Mm-hmm. Have you ever um, had a lady like give you a bad gift? I think like most women that I've ever been with are like really great gift givers. I'd say so. Yeah. Never had like a girl give me like a like six avocados. Like, what the fuck is? This? In this economy, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, would, I actually love avocado. I'll be fine with it. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, Gabe. Um, yeah. I mean, let's just do a couple more of these. Um, women want sex for Valentine's Day. Sophie says some slow, attentive sex with limited frills, but lots of physical compliments. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna take a blue chew. I'm gonna take a blue chew, and I have this uh, delay spray. I'm going in. Bro, you can be Woody the Woodpecker in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, I am, but I'm going to do a fucking blue chew and a little... With a foxtail? With a foxtail, bro. I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to do bro, peanut I, like four I months. hope room, room cleaning walks in and they're like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We said no dogs. <laughs> I mean, Gigi's going to be like... Bah. She's going? Yep. <laughs> Where do you want me to put her? Dude, you she's want to gonna see some something else with a tail, and it's gonna be like, oh, friend, wait a second, I'm gonna put her in a hush. Yeah, yeah, man, I don't, I think it's gonna be fun, dude. I've been using baby oil on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, walk me through what you're packing for Valentine's Day. <laughs> we got baby oil. We got a foxtail, yeah. hold on, a hold on. blue chew. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get like, I usually carry like travel size baby oil because I travel, you know, we travel a but lot. But you ain't flying. Sir. You driving. I'm, there is baby oil that's like coconut baby oil, whatever. Coconut flake scented. I don't, not even scented. Like whatever the fuck. I'm getting a big one. I am going to destroy these sheets. Like, like I'm going to walk into the hotel and hand them a hundred dollars and be like, I'm going to, these are for new sheets. Like these are for new sheets. I'm going to fuck your sheets up. You're going to be like, what is he cooking eggs on these sheets? Maybe I'm going to destroy them. I'm bringing the biggest baby bowl ever. I'm bringing the sex pillow. Sir. Yeah. Dude, that's a lot of stuff you're bringing. Is that a whole separate duffel? It's gonna have to be. Are you gonna have a you gonna have an own suitcase for Samsonite sex? for sex? Uh, uh, big, big, big baby boy, like the biggest one they got. Foxtail, uh, and I'm gonna get a leash and a collar. Are you actually? Yes, GD for sure gonna be like, bro. Who the hell? That's what, bro. You're you're in furry territory. Yeah, I'm getting close. <laughs> what do you mean getting close? Yeah, it's everything. But speaking of butt, I'm gonna put the foxtail in there. Uh, Collar? What? Yeah, dude, it's so hot with a leash. Yeah, because I want to have have her wear it and then take the take the uh, the leash and just kind of pull it. I'm hard. And then you guys are just going nah, to top no. golf after. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy to me that people have sex, violent, sloppy, messy, loving sex. And then afterwards, you set a farmer's market, like, oh, they have. Rusted potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And they have sh- fucking hand marks on their neck. Yeah. God, fuck. I'm s- God. I'm getting real worried. <laughs> Dude, you might come back wearing the tail. I Dude, would could you it. imagine it's a full plot it. twist? You should. Why not? I don't know. I'm sick of fucking. Who cares? Sick of fucking? No. <laughs> oh. I'm sick of fucking caring. Shove oh. it in there. Let's mm-hmm. see what's happening. Do it. Go to the dog park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear about your sexual adventures. Me too, man. Me too. I'm excited to, to do that. I mean, dude, it's just something about an old up woman that just really gets me going. I mean, just completely just, just sheen. Get a bitch Charlie Sheen out. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But you, have a, you, know, you, you know you take the Pam spray and you spray it. <laughs> and you hold on, hold on, work with me. And you spray it on the, on the pan before you cook eggs. And it's all like okay. shiny. I don't know where you're going with it. I thought you were going to pop it off and then graffiti it up with some Pam. Oh, I would love it. But yeah, just there's something about it, dude. It's like everything is like when it's all, everything's fuckable. Like everything. That's Armpit, crazy. whatever you want. You're getting in there? No, I haven't. But you know what I'm saying? Like everything, everything's so Crease. slidey. Nooks, crannies. Oh, God, it's hot. 
Wow. I'm, I'm excited for you. You're going to come back with an eight-pack on an eight-pack. Dude, I literally, my office has literally become like a sex room. Because we just put a towel down, sex pillow. Like, fucking, have, fucking on the ground's underrated, by the wait, way. Wait, The angles wait, you can get wait, on the wait, ground wait, is crazy. Wait. You fuck on the ground at your own place? Yeah. It's, dude, there's something, dude, the ground, like, there, dude, there's like, there's like angles that I can do on the ground that I can't do on a bed because it's too soft. Like, I can, like, hold myself all, like, all the way up on the fucking, like, dude, I, sometimes I put my leg, this is a couch behind me, so I put my legs up on the couch, and I'm doing, like, sort of, like, a, you like doing a, a plank in the pussy? Yeah, like, a plank in the pussy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's just, bam! Like I get angles that I can't. Wait, how is she? Where is she in that scenario? On the ground. Legs on her up. back. Yeah, on her back. I'm like this. But the, but the ground. I'm like this. You're doing that. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> Bro, you're literally fucking like a Jamaican dance video. Have you seen those? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love. No, me too. It's not even dancing. I just want to stop the video and be like, hey, no one's dancing. No one's dancing here. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how you. I mean, it's not that's a, how you it's not intercourse. It's a consistent thing, but that's a that's a that's a. So a, how, what, what, how how do you? Hey, you trying to hit the ground? No, dude. Like, what, it, she, she mostly suggests it. The ground. You put a towel down. Something towel, soft. Well, well, towel down because everyone, there's oil everywhere. Coconut juice. What goes on in that place, <laughs> dude? Fun. <laughs> wow. The, the, oh, fun. Wow. Yeah. The fun. ground. The ground's great. Started from the bottom. Still there. Yeah, so the ground. I mean, let me tell you something. That towel ruined. <laughs> wow, I gotta watch like a sex ed video or something. That's cool. It is cool. I'm telling you, man, the ground's underrated. My knees sometimes get super scraped up. I really, I both <laughs> both of my knees have like a rug burn, mm. but it's worth it. Is this wood or carpet? Carpet. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was wood for a second. I have wood in. I have carpet in the the office in the bedroom, and then mm -hmm. wood everywhere else. Okay. Yeah, but fucking on the ground in the wood, that's a little... That's, that's I mean, what I pictured. I was looking at these floors. I thought it was that. Oh, no, no, no. Carpet's no. fine. It, it's still... It's really fun, but it's... You still get a little fucked up on it. Yeah, what is that? Carpet, be softer. Yeah, but what... Yeah, why? What, do you get a rug burn? Like, your skin's like, ow. Is it burn? Like, I guess it is, right? It's like it's you... It's so dirty. The carpet? Yeah, any carpet. Yeah, well, I have my carpets newly. I mean, I guess I've been in there for about three, four months, but they were like clean before I went. Yeah, you think about a rug. That's true. I mean, Gigi's all up in there. I've come on that rug plenty of times. Oh, wow. Yeah, life. Oh, before you get to see your socks, I yep, talk. Yep, yep, yep. Apple Vision Pro. I you, used it. You used them. First thing I googled. P O R N. We're talking porn up on the glass. That was not bad. <laughs> Dude, go. People were saying that you can't use it on the visions yeah, to watch right. the old adult content. You can't. You of course you can. No, the but, reason but, that Tim Cook made these was oh, for that. Oh, yeah. He was cooking up something else. Breakfast Steven. sausage. Oh, sorry. That works too. Yep. But so you think it's going to make VR it's like wrapped around you. It's kind of almost... Better in a weird way, uh oh, because uh, you can still see your family to your left. No, you can you can make it <laughs> so the the screens you can make it like where it's like this big in front of your face, like the size of a like Nintendo DS, or you can like pretty much portray it like on the size of a wall. So I was watching and I, I, I posted a, a, a TikTok wearing it with that adult concept playing in the background as a yep. girl moaning. Yep. These Mother efforts on TikTok are so down bad. They're guessing who it is. Oh, bro. No. That's so-and-so. That's so-and-so. Everybody is wrong so far. But the fact that they're like liking it and be like, I don't know, man. That sounds more like uh, Eva Elfie to me. I don't know, <laughs> man. That might be uh, Mia Malcolm. Who was? It was a girl can plot out in a bath. Like, I, like it's, it was a POV. It's not like it, it was. I, it was like a random girl getting plot out at a, at a gas station. Was it? <laughs> A Sunoco? <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> so hold on. Hold on, hold on. Was it, were you doing the VR experience or so was I, it just a screen so on the bottom right? there is right? no V, uh, it's like a spatial thing. So it's not like, so there's a few things. One, you can, one thing you can do is really cool. You can like turn this knob and it like yeah. puts you in like this world and it's a 360 and like everything around you really? is submersive. It's fucking awesome. I wanted to take a little bit of the W-E-E-D gummies and submerge myself. In what? The rainforest? Man, but could. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. 
but but so that's one where it's 360. But when you're putting up tabs, it's it's like a spatial thing. So it's like it's really weird. Like I had like a website over here and then I had like photos over here and then they're in my house. So when I walk away and I walk back in, they're still there. Shut up. Yeah. They it, live. It, it remembers. They, it remembers everything. Jesus it's Christ. Like, and they do okay. this. So like if your office space, you know, you have your screens, you set up and you're just there. Yeah. And then you walk away, you got to pee, come back. But it's like kind of weird. I, I was like downstairs. I was like, oh, fuck, I got to go get my photos. <laughs> I walk up and <laughs> grab it. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. But so you, you, you make how big the screen you want it to be. And it can go as big as you want it to be. So I was watching that. C O R N content yes. for Jack's editing. Well, we got it. As big as like the any world? wall in my place. Shut up. So the it, whole it, thing, bro. We were filming a sketch with him on, and the one thing Zach said, he goes, "Don't get hard." I was like, "I got no promises. This is good." Was it? It's good. So you can make the boobs as big as you want. So you're sitting there like in an AMC, just watching corn. AMC C word. No. Hold on. Yep. AMC keyword C. Yes. O C K. Got it. Oh, and C U M. Yeah. But yes. but like, so how you like it's really cool. I don't know if it's worth the money. Um, I don't know what I would use it for. Yes, I do. But it it yeah, it is kind of like it's kind of tricky to get used to. Yeah. It feels like it'd be it's better. My, it's my note report. When he's going like this. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movies. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, I think it would be better with a keyboard and a mouse pad. Yeah. Just if you wanted to like really get work done. But just for like watching, I was watching like a YouTube video, like pretty cool to see it like that big. Is it like does how do I say this? Is how's the resolution? Does it, is it really like good? Super it's clean. Insane. It's oh, insane. Really? And you can record video on it. Um, you can take screenshots on it. No. Yeah. So for the sketch, what we did is like the girls talking to me, and then I, she, <laughs> they're just staring in right at her rack <laughs> as like the bit. But yeah. you can just record. I mean, it's it's not very practical because you always have to be plugged into the battery charger, and the battery charger lasts like two hours. No. Unless it's plugged in. But like, if you want to, like, it's not very practical. So to walk around. You have to always be plugged in. And I got, oh, bro, I got snatched on a door handle. Oh, yeah. This was coming out of my back pocket. Pfft, not anymore. It, and all the reviews that we saw so far, it was like, it, it was too heavy. It is pretty heavy. Jesus. You can like feel like the fans, like, cause it has like a terabyte of storage. Like it's, yeah. it's a whole processor. I think it, it had a better processor than my laptop. Really? You can like feel the fans. Like it's a full. Yeah. It's got the full lap. It's got the M2 chip in it. Like that the laptop is. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what would be actually really fun for, for you guys to do? We should get our hands on one and have you guys design your ideal goon rooms. We talk about this a lot of like, okay, if you could have any setup that you wanted, have a oh, fireplace man. here, giant Oh, heat. fire. Dude, I, I, would, I would describe it kind of like how they have those uh, music eight hour loops on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Be like, you know, fireplace in the winter. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, so it's I like that. So, so you can make this screen really close to you. You can make it far. And then and then you put everything you want next to you. So you can have Twitter. You can have a basketball game. Look, the future is fucked and our families are never going to see us again, but that's fine. Hold on, so, but you can, uh, the dog's never going to fed again. You can, <laughs> so I can watch multiple basketball games on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, ordering it. Basketball. That's what you're watching on that mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Okay. Two of them. Tits. You got it. NBA. Jams. Um, that's correct. I mean, I, yeah, I, I think what you were saying, the money's probably not worth it. Yeah. No. I'm going to get gen two. Yeah. The generation two battery's going to well, be in that bitch. I'm going to wait till gen two comes out. Then buy gen one. That's what you do normally. Yes. Isn't that insane? <laughs> no. <laughs> Save money, but I still have technology. And then people see me at the airport and they go, wow, who's innovative? He got the first one. I got it two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it is really cool, but like, I, I just don't know what I would use it for. There's a video of some guy on TikTok editing on Final Cut with it. Yeah. But he has to use the keyboard and the mouse pad. That's okay. But it's cool, like, spatially to look around. massive? That would be awesome. Yeah, exactly. It is cool. It's a little tricky trying to, like, type on it because and, – and your eyes are the mouse. So what? So so where your eyes look, it like will highlight on the screen. So if you look at the play button, it like kind of highlights. And then to say yes, you click, you just do this with your finger. And you don't have to do it on the front like everybody does in videos. There's cameras all around. So it's by your lap. So you can be down here. Fuck you. Yeah. Dude, you're eating popcorn, you're clicking away. Yeah, I mean, watching a movie on there has to be unbelievable. Cool. It would be it would definitely be great for for that. Kind of just taking a night did you, off. Did you try that? Papa Zan, weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't have it for very long. I was borrowing it from a friend. Shout out Eric for letting me borrow it. He bought like 10 of them. Um, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it was definitely cool. But uh, yeah, I think like watching a movie would be so sick. I mean, obviously, porn would be unbelievable. It but cool. it's not immersive. 
That's what I don't, I'm, I'm not wrapping my head around that. But it's like having a movie theater in your own room. So it doesn't, okay, walk Dude, me through this Dude, it's pretty again. damn immersive. When we did the Oculus. Right, you can look left and right. You can't do that with yeah, it's not POV. Shut up. No. So it's just a screen? Yeah. Boring. I have a fucking screen at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of it. Are yeah. you kidding me? Oh, it's, wow, it's, the screen's it's big. It's a 360 it's iPad. Like but it's it's not like POV where you look down and it's your... It's like you're watching through a, a one-sided glass. Dumb. It's still pretty cool seeing so it, it up that close. So it doesn't do any VR stuff? Not yet, I don't think. That is... Well, what, I think they're trying to make this like a more... Because the second you say VR, people just think what? Porn. Exactly. So I think yeah. Tim Cook was like, "Let's give it a let's give it a couple beats." No, Tim. I Cook think it will turn get into Tim Cock. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I mean, literally, no V. Why don't you just have a They're function really cool, where you can though. click into VR and then click out of it? Yeah. Also, the speakers are built into the the strap, so anybody around you can hear what you're playing. So I don't like that. No. Dude, Everybody hears was, you on the flight. Oh my god! Yeah, dude, when I was, when I was, when I, was, when I was doing the old uh, Oculus at my old place, uh, jerking off during the pandemic, but it there, was so loud. It was on level one, yeah. but it was. I felt like it was so loud my neighbors could hear me. It feels like they're yin and yang. The Oculus, 100% for porn. Apple Vision Pro, maybe like 1% for porn. I mean, definitely 100%, but like how they built it out. Oculus is like, oh, this is good for playing uh, Rocket League. Yeah, okay. Cock at League. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like what one has, the other one doesn't. I think I want to go full Indiana Jones with it where you can switch them around. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> one, that's the future. Oculus yeah. in the front, Vision Pro's in the back, and you spin around whatever yep. mood you're in, that's and your son is in the corner just being like, Dad, they're hungry. We got a kid for the sketch. So good. Oh, kid, oh, he's, he's like, like Dad, Dad, please, I'm hungry. Dad, Dad. I'm like, not now. I'm just doing this shit. <laughs> so excited. Um, all right, guys. Well, you want to get into Sock Talk Secret Sock? Let's do it. I yep. love it. Let's keep a Super Bowl theme for Sock Talk today. Let's do it. Manny wrote in and said, Did you guys see the day trader that uh, streaked at the Super Bowl in order to bring awareness to his business? Yeah, I saw this Shut bullshit. Up. So there's a streaker, and then you he, you he has his Instagram handle on his chest. No. And then you go to his Instagram, and it's it's him doing like a motivational video being like, See, here's the thing. I took a gamble on myself, so I became a streaker. And the problem with that is it was 40000 to streak, uh, but I made 80000 So he's, like, making it a business opportunity. I don't know. Go, go Yeah, so we'll over. go through the slides. That's him Who getting caught. would <laughs> ha – hold on. He's a day trader, like, like a financial day yeah, trader. Yeah, yeah, Who in the fuck would trust him with – their money. Yeah. So, so good. So I would have trusted him if he had his dick out, but he wore pants, so yeah, you you're not committed at all. No. Go keep, next one. So here's where he like breaks it down why it's beneficial to do it. Do whatever you want, whenever you want, and that's exactly what I just did with Santa Fe. <laughs> one of my goals has always been to streak the Super Bowl, and I don't want to be that guy that I'm rich and I'm 50 years old and I'm like, damn, I wish I would have done that when I was younger. No, I did it now. And I'll do it again because I don't want to have any regrets right now. I'm 23 years old. You're not I have all the time in the world. I have the opportunity. I'm going to do it. We only live once. And the point of life is to have fun. And if trading funds out of that, and I can pretty much do whatever I want and it have no consequences to me making money, yeah. I'm going to keep doing it. So 2025 Super Bowl, just know I'm going to come ready. Oh, I'm <laughs> the point of, and this is to show you guys that I commit to my oh, big goal. I literally just paid forty-two thousand dollars to go to jail. So me committing to this thirty-day boot camp, I can guarantee you guys I'm going to turn one hundred. No free no clap. So he just play. No, he just <laughs> does all this to plug uh, his like his business course. boot camp. Yeah, it's like this weird way where like I see the vision on it, but it's just like talk. Yeah, you can't do this on an iPhone video immediately after and be <laughs> like, this is a hit. It's also like. Uh, heavier of a uh, like uh, pay for some ads. Well, but I think that's the idea, right? Like he's probably like, bro, they spend millions on Super Bowl ads. I'm gonna get on TV, and it's just gonna be forty grand. Like he's probably doing the the math in his head, and like this is the same thing as having a Super Bowl ad. Oh, yeah, my it's God. just wild to. So is that his? That's his. Uh, the cost, right? The price per fifteen ticket. grand per ticket. Wait, the jail. How much was the jail price per ticket? fees he doesn't say how much of it so, it's so he why is it oh two tickets who the hell did he buy it for him and his iphone videographer <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny to be like oh man marketing's down what if i straight to the super bowl and then i made that to my marketing yeah i just don't understand who's gonna see a guy who's streaked and then be like all right hell yeah let's have him 
Like I trust him with my money. Right. Or is it trusting with money or is a boot camp to learn how to make money? That's it. Oh, okay. Which I mean, it definitely sense. fired some people up for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that. Pretty crazy. Um, speaking of crazy, we have a secret sock, anonymous hey. submission. Uh -oh. uh, Let's do it. Someone wrote in to us and said that they heard a rumor and they want to tell you about it. So I know cool. this chick that went to Drake's concert and successfully slid into his DMs. Great. He told her to come to his hotel that night and she proceeded to eat his ass for the entirety of the night. Great. She said he was. she was down there for eight hours, but I thought nope. that was a stretch. It is. Call it three hours, like but man loves five. getting his ass munched. All right. I, Even three hours. I mean, that's Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> eight hours is crazy. You deserve a smoke break at least one point in there. Yeah. Eight hours, buddy. I mean, it feels good, but after eight hours, like, I'd be bored. After 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's, you know, it feels really good, but like eight, first of all, eight hours, no. He's ordering Three like hours, Postmates. No. You want anything? Oh, like, you already eaten? <laughs> I will say this. Uh, I call lie. Why? I mean, he. Three, eight, eight, what? Now, do you call lie on our man sending it in or on the woman that told him this? The lady. Because I, I, I had the same thought. I was like, this is a pretty bold, wild claim. I looked at our DM history. This is not someone that's sending us a message every week with something wild. They've only DM'd us a few times in the whole five years that they've been listening to the show. Wow. I just want, I mean, I would love to know the specifics. Was she just like riffing? Like, oh my God, I was down there for like eight hours. Or was she like, I was down there for legit eight hours. I counted. Yeah. yeah. Her she tongue must be tired. Everything. I mean, she got a coli. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> uh, she also, there is one more detail that makes it seem way more fishy. Uh, she says, Why does, he, "Can I ask you a question? What does it seems fishy? What does that mean? Where the fuck did that come from? The docks? Oh no, <laughs> it don't do that. It seems fishy. Like these sayings are so stupid. Sorry. Uh, what seems fishy, Gabe? <laughs> we'll we'll find out afterwards. But uh, okay. she said. He wrapped his latest album before it was re released while she was going down on him. No. Uh, wait, she, he finished? Like he hit send? While he no, was... no, no. He, while she was eating his ass, was just wrapping bars from the last album. That's how you know you're good at eating ass. When he's just <laughs> spitting nothing was the same up there. <laughs> but also, like, maybe he couldn't finish the song and that's how he gets lyrics. By a girl eating his ass. And he's like... Uh, 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 and then it comes out like it's like a creative, his creative process. Drake is so goddamn good. Was that his cock? <laughs> Do you know? Does I anyone know. know? Can someone that knows I don't know. fucking DM him? Because what a Johnson that guy has on him. I mean, he's so rich. Somebody could CGI it. That to be real, you know? Yeah, if that was me, I'd, I'd add that. I, I would do that, and then I would leak it, my, leak it myself. Oh, darn it. Oops, yeah, but it, but it dropped you, it to all of SoFi Stadium. <laughs> but if you don't. But if you don't have that, you can't have that leak. No. Then, then, then every lady is going into the No, that's why I don't think he like, he, like, tried to get a tank down. He's like, all right, it's a good PR. If that's him, though. If it's not him. Who else would it be? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. He never confirmed or denied it. Um, there have been rumors going around about uh, strippers saying Drake likes his ass eaten for the whole time who different. doesn't could join yeah. the fucking team you're yeah. telling bro he i mean with the, he he wears too many sweaters and paints his nails too much to not get his ass eaten yeah look what the fuck i'm wearing i got my ass eaten two nights ago <laughs> dude it's so funny that clip this is your new thing what about it why do you think nothing. i'm sitting like this dude that clip on instagram did like two something mil so many random people in my life i haven't talked to in a while have sent it to me but like lol bro you're my uncle. <laughs> you did it to me and I was like, <laughs> Hey, listen, for Valentine's Day, if you got a man, eat his ass. Eat his ass. Yeah. Not eight hours, maybe eight seconds, maybe eight minutes. Just He'll like, make a noise you've never heard before. Yeah, just two or three minutes and jerk him off while you do it. He'll fucking, enjoy, like, he'll, he'll really, really like it, man. He'll really like it. And uh, girl and doggy eating. <laughs> what? Real quick, and I want to sign off on this. Or do we save it for Patreon? We'll can save it for Patreon. It's not. We'll save it for Patreon. Give a little hint. For Patreon. Three uh, words. Look at Jack edging over there. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I used to not be into at all. I Women? I, 
<laughs> yep. Please Wait. continue. No, so I used to be not not being to at all and used to just like it used to be so just average and maybe even below average to me is now I mean I think I think it's I think it's not my not my thing. thing. I have my estimated guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hypothesis, as they say in seventh grade. We'll see you on Patreon. What's the yeah. scientific method? <laughs> we'll find it on Patreon. Guys, thank you so much. <laughs> That's the podcast, man. Happy uh, we Valentine's love Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely 14th. Um, come see, go see Mr. Wallace and Mr. Boss on, on tour. Um, and uh, we have Patreon. Four extra episodes drops every mother freaking Friday, ad free on Sip Socks Plus and on Patreon. So go get that if you don't have it. And uh, till next Monday, or nope, Jesus, till next Wednesday. We love you guys. I got a big old dick.